Hi everybody, I'm Jim, and in this video we'll review the installation process for a Dreamline Enigma X shower door. Let's review a few key points that must be satisfied before unpacking your new door and starting the installation. First and foremost, the Enigma X does not have any adjustment for out of plumb conditions. So use a four foot level to verify that your walls are plumb before proceeding any further. Next, ensure the surfaces are solid and able to support the weight of your door. Check that the walls and threshold don't have any flex or give to them and that you won't be drilling into any loose tile. Use a square and confirm your walls are at right angles as radius corners or improper angle of sidewalls will prevent you from successfully installing your door. After you've determined your shower space is suitable for the installation, go ahead and carefully unpack your unit and inspect it. Check that all of the needed parts are included in the package by checking off the components on the parts diagram. If you run into any issues during any of these steps, please contact our customer support team for assistance. Now let's begin. Before installing the Enigma X, you'll need a four or six foot level and a measuring tape. Check the walls for plumb and the threshold for level. If the threshold is out of level or pitches out, or if the walls are more than one eighth of an inch out of plumb, do not proceed with the installation. Check whether the recommended support exists behind the finished walls, then measure the opening and determine whether the correct model size has been ordered. Remove and inspect all parts from the box or boxes and thoroughly examine the manual. Check that you have all the tools needed for installation. If everything looks good, proceed with the installation. Remember to cover the shower drain to avoid losing small parts. Identify the panel and door by examining the notches or holes in the glass. Inspect the glass edges and corners for chips and damage. Replace the corner protectors and leave them on until installation. Next, you will need a chop saw with a metal blade, a metal file, and Allen keys. You'll also need the two stoppers, both guide rail brackets, the guide rail, and thread lock. Cut the guide rail from the door end only, the end opposite the holes. Look for a label there, and use this formula. Subtract the finished opening width from the model width. The difference is the cutoff length. File off any burrs on the inside and outside of the cut end. Slide both stoppers onto the guide rail. Use the provided thread lock and an Allen wrench to secure the panel side stopper in the pre-drilled hole in the guide rail. The stopper hole passes through the rail so it can be installed left or right. Snug the other stopper to the rail temporarily about three inches from the end. Here's a tip for the next step with the guide rail brackets. Make sure the bushing is in the center of the bracket between the two set screws. Slide the guide rail brackets on both ends of the guide rail with the set screws at the top and bottom, the bevels facing the middle of the rail, and tighten them down to the guide rail with the innermost set screw. Now you'll need the panel glass with the notches at the bottom. Orient the inline panel glass so the U-shaped corner bracket notch will be against the wall, and the corner notch for the guide block will be in the center of the opening. The guide rail will be installed behind the panel glass, toward the inside of the shower. Now you'll need the two glass-to-rail brackets, an erasable marker, the guide rail and the panel glass, and Allen wrenches. Line up the holes in the guide rail with the holes at the top of the inline panel glass. Here's a helpful tip. Find and mark the high spot on the outside disc of both glass to rail brackets. This will help when adjusting the guide rail to level while dry fitting the panel and guide rail in the finished opening. Attach the stationary panel to the guide rail using the glass brackets. Note that one part of the bracket goes between the glass and the guide rail and curves around the guide rail, while the other half is outside the panel glass. The bolt passes through the glass and threads into the guide rail. Make sure the marks on the brackets face the door side of the shower, in a neutral position. Hold the outside disc in place with a small Allen wrench in the dimple while tightening. 
Keep the guide rail parallel with the top edge of the glass as the brackets are tightened to help keep the guide rail level. Next, you'll need a glass suction cup if you have one, the glass to wall bracket, the guide block, Allen wrenches, and a pencil. Fasten the glass to wall bracket in the U-shaped notch in the panel glass. Flush with the edges of the glass, the bolt on the inside, and the screw hole facing the wall. Use one of the thinner gaskets on each side. Dry fit the panel and guide rail into the opening. Be sure the guide rail is level and the glass is plumb and parallel with the front of the threshold. The panel glass needs to be installed towards the outside of the threshold, not the center. Use the bottom guide block to map the installation's overall footprint. If the rail still needs to be level, the glass brackets can be adjusted slightly by loosening the main bolt, then turning them up or down from their neutral position to level the guide rail as needed. When the guide rail is level and the panel glass is positioned correctly, mark the outside circular edge of the guide rail brackets and the inside edge of the glass to wall bracket. Use an Allen wrench to remove the faceplate from the guide block. Place the guide block behind the notch and flush with the edge of the stationary glass. Make sure it is square to the glass. Mark the outside edge and use a 1 8 inch drill bit to pilot or mark the center hole. Carefully remove the assembly from the opening. Remove the ends of the guide rail brackets by loosening the middle set screws on each. Move the collars in slightly and tighten them temporarily so they don't come off. Next, you'll need a power drill and bits, a screw gun, the screws for the guide rail brackets, and the screws for the wall bracket and the guide block. Place the bracket ends on the marks just made and mark the center holes for drilling. If a stud is present, drill a quarter inch hole up to the stud, a smaller bit to pilot the stud, and install the bracket end. Use high torque for drilling, low torque and steady pressure for stainless steel screws. If no stud is present, drill a 3 8 inch hole and use a wall anchor. Remove the glass to wall bracket from the lower corner of the panel glass. Place the inside half back on the mark on the wall, mark the hole for drilling and install the back half of the bracket. Use a 5 16 inch bit and an anchor if no stud is present, or a 3 16 inch hole and no anchor if there is a stud. Install the guide block on the marks made. For a tile threshold, use a 3 16 inch bit. For an acrylic threshold, use a 1 8 inch bit. Prepare to install the roller wheels on the door glass. Loosen the safety set screw first, then the main bolt to separate the wheel. Mark the adjustment discs to indicate the high spot of the elliptical center. When tightening the wheels on the door, point the mark just made toward the strike side wall and use a small Allen wrench to hold the safety set screws in the 12 o'clock position while tightening the main bolt so it is accessible later if adjustment is needed. Do not install the handle at this time and leave the corner protectors on the door glass until necessary to remove them. Place the door glass inside the shower, being careful of the glass edges. Make sure the door is facing the correct way for the installation, so it won't have to be turned around. Carefully place the panel glass and the attached guide rail back into position on the threshold, loosening the collars on the rail and sliding them back out over the installed ends and tightening all set screws. The guide rail brackets can also be adjusted to help level the guide rail. The outside set screws can be used to raise or lower the ends slightly. To lower the rail, loosen the top set screw and tighten the bottom one. To raise the rail, loosen the bottom set screw and tighten the top one. Use an assistant to install the faceplate on the glass to wall bracket using gaskets on both sides of the glass. Reinstall the faceplate on the guide block using the gaskets and tighten the side set screw with an Allen wrench. Use an assistant and a glass cup to hang the door glass 
with one person setting the roller wheels on the guide rail and the other guiding the glass into the guide block. Next, you'll need all vinyl strips, a glass cup if you have one, and Allen wrenches. Install the bumper vinyl on the strike side of the door and test how evenly it seals against the wall. You will need to reposition the door side stopper to allow the bumper vinyl to just meet the wall. Look for a gap at the top or bottom of the vinyl. If needed, adjust one or both roller wheels to improve the reveal at the wall. Let's look at how the roller wheels are constructed. The safety set screw holds the main bolt in place and must always be loosened before turning the main bolt or the bolt threads will be damaged. The safety set screw should always be tight except when adjusting the roller wheel. To adjust the roller wheels, first place a shim under the glass so it won't contact the guide block. To adjust the roller wheels, loosen the safety set screw, then loosen the main bolt. With the assistant lifting slightly on the glass to take weight off the adjustment disc, turn the disc to raise or lower the door slightly. Turning the mark on the disc up will raise the glass and turning it down will lower it. Check the seal against the wall after each adjustment. When satisfied, remove the safety set screw, apply a drop of thread lock through the hole, then replace it. Use an Allen wrench to keep the safety set screw at 12 o'clock and tighten the bolt and the safety set screw. Next, you'll need the two roller guards Allen wrenches, and an assistant. You'll also need the safe stop bumper and the handle. Remove the caps from the end of the roller guards and unscrew the center bolt, being careful to hold onto the small parts. Apply thread lock to the end of the center bolt in both roller guards. The thread lock has 10 to 15 minutes of working time before setting up. Install the roller guards in the holes just beneath the rail. Tighten the bolt from the outside with a helper holding a small Allen wrench in the dimple on the inside to tighten them. The slotted hole in the center allows both ends to be aligned. Install the roller guards 1 16th of an inch beneath the guide rail, then reinstall the cap. Use a small Allen wrench to help tighten the cap. Clean the area behind the glass to wall bracket and install the safe stop bumper inside the shower against the wall bracket. You can use the high bond tape or you can open it in order to screw it to the wall. Install the handle on the door glass using the gaskets provided. Install the vinyl seals, one on the stationary panel above the guide block and another on the back edge of the door. Notch the tops to allow the roller guards to pass freely. Next you'll need the dam strip and the end cap clear silicone, a chop saw with a metal blade, a marker, and a measuring tape. Measure for and cut the dam strip, then install both the dam strip and the end cap with silicone, and extending across the opening to the wall. Painter's tape can help keep it in place until the silicone cures. Clean the area to be sealed and apply silicone to the interior perimeter of the stationary panel around the guide block and along the dam strip. Allow 24 hours for the silicone to cure before using the shower. Review maintenance procedures with the customer. Fill out the lot number, etc. in the manual and be sure to also review it with the customer. Direct the customer to the warranty page at dreamline.com and encourage them to leave a review of the installation. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're looking for a professional to install your newly purchased Dreamline shower door, we'd like to encourage you to take advantage of our Dreamline Certified Installer Network. Head over to dreamline.com and click Find an Installer. Search by location to find a list of certified installers closest to you. And for any additional questions, Dreamline Customer Support is happy to help. As always, Dreamline is your source for the ultimate shower door experience.